What's up you guys, it's Steve here, and take a look at these headlines coming out. Democrats prepare for the next phase of budget fight as House readies package and Biden meets with Senate skeptics. And yes, you guys, this is for the $3.5 trillion human infrastructure, the largest stimulus package that we have seen so far. This is your stimulus check update and your stimulus package update. Now you guys, we're hearing that right now the House and Congress, they're working to put together the legislative text for the $3.5 trillion human infrastructure bill, which is essentially gonna be the largest stimulus package we have seen. And you guys, we have updates for you. Take a look at this. House panel advances key portions of the Democrats' $3.5 trillion bill. I'm gonna let you know what portions have been advanced and which ones have not. As we mentioned, they put out their outline, their proposal, their shell of the bill. Let us know what they'd like to see and then they try to push different provisions forward and I've let you know this bill will change. And we're hearing that some portions have not made it in, others have, and we're gonna see what other proposals, what other sections might make it in as a lot of people are constantly asking, what about stimulus checks? What about this, what about that? And you guys, we will see as they are writing now the legislative text and even when they have it in a bill form, ready to go, ready to be voted on, it could still change literally days before it hits the president's desk to be signed into law. As we saw with that second stimulus check, it got slipped in literally days before passing into law, you guys. So I'm gonna get you caught up on the details. And yes, yesterday, President Joe Biden did meet with Senator Joe Manchin and Kirsten Sinema. Take a look, you guys. Senate Democrats to discuss the $3.5 trillion spending bill. Democrats hope that Biden can flip Manchin and Cinema. So I'm gonna get you caught up on the details as to what was unfolding yesterday in those discussions and the path forward. So I'm gonna dive right in, get you caught up on the latest on the details and discussions with stimulus as of today, September 16th, 2021. But before we dive in though, if you could do me a quick favor, just takes a second. If you like and appreciate these updates, don't forget to just take a second to smash that like button. I would really appreciate it. It just lets the YouTube algorithm know that you think I'm doing a good job and in turn, they're gonna to continue to promote my channel and my videos. Just takes a second, I'd really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Also, leave your comments down below. I love hearing your thoughts and share this out on social media platforms. And if this is your first time here, don't forget, hit that subscribe button and turn on that notification bell. You can come join the viewing community. Come join the Ram fam. We want you here and I'll keep you up to date on all this stuff. Stimulus, Congress, the economy, unemployment, anything having to do with our money. And you guys, if you got any specific questions for me, I'm really accessible. It's easy to get a hold of me. All you got to do is shoot me a DM on Instagram at steveram3. That's by far the best way to get a hold of me and yes I go through all those DMs and I will respond to your questions and I get a lot of them so it might take me a little while but you guys I will go through and I'll try my best to help you out but with that being said you guys let's go ahead and dive right in I'm gonna get you caught up on the latest as to what's in these articles regarding stimulus happening right now today as of September 16th 2021 all right, you guys, so first up, link in the description below. We're gonna be taking a look at what happened yesterday in those meetings with President Joe Biden, Kirsten Sinema, and Senator Joe Manchin. Now, the article says, Senate Democrats to discuss $3.5 trillion spending bill. And as you'll recall, he has to get them on board because they literally need every single senator to vote in favor of this to pass it through the process of reconciliation. Just the way the Senate is structured right now, they literally need every single one. And that puts those senators in a very powerful position. A lot of people are saying right now, they're in a more powerful position than the president himself because they literally could derail the entire thing, you guys. Now take a look at this, the article says, President Joe Biden was meeting separately with moderate Democratic U.S. Senators Joe Manchin and Kirsten Sinema on Wednesday to discuss Democratic-backed domestic spending legislation, the White House said. Now, Democrats hold a slim majority in the Senate, as we mentioned, making Manchin and Sinema critical to the $3.5 trillion bill's prospects. Now, White House Press Secretary Jen Psaki told reporters that the purpose of the meeting was to discuss a path forward on Biden's proposed legislation. Now, cinema spokesperson John Lombard said that today's meeting was productive and Kirsten is continuing to work with good faith with her colleagues and the president as this legislation develops. Now, jumping to the next article, we're going to get a little more detail. Take a look at this. Democrats hope Biden can flip Manchin and Cinema, and as always, links to these articles in the description below so you can read them for yourself. And the article says that President Biden met face-to-face -face with Senators Joe Manchin and Kirsten Cinema on Wednesday, stepping up his involvement in the efforts to unify congressional Democrats behind the $3.5 trillion spending package. Now, Democratic lawmakers are hailing Biden's personal attention as a game-changing development at a critical moment right now. Now, the ones who are negotiating publicly 
I think it's fair to say that they're the toughest votes to get, said Tim Kaine about Manchin and Cinema. Now, this is really important for the Biden administration, and so it's all on the deck, he said, in efforts to get the two holdouts to support the reconciliation package. Kay noted that Biden has a strong personal relationship with Manchin, so they think they'll be able to get him on board. Now, he said both Joe and Kirsten really want Biden to have a successful presidency. So A, it's good for our country, B, it's good for their states, and C, it's good for their own politics, saying that he hopefully will be able to get them on board. Now, White House Press Secretary Jen Psaki on Wednesday said that the president knows that Manchin and Cinema's meetings were only the start of negotiations with moderate Democrats. So you guys, what we're hearing is he didn't necessarily convince them yesterday, and these are going to be ongoing discussions. So we're going to be hearing a lot more on this. So essentially, uh, they are still going to be talking, you guys. Now, it says the president certainly believes that there are going to be ongoing discussions, not that there's necessarily going to be a conclusion out of those today, she reported. Now, John LaBombard, as we mentioned, the spokesperson for Cinema said that they were having productive conversations and that Kirsten Cinema would continue to discuss with the president the path forward. Now, Biden, who spent decades in the Senate before becoming vice president, met separately with each senator in an apparent effort to maximize the effect of his personal involvement. And he sat down with Cinema around 10 a.m. yesterday, and then he met with Manchin several hours later. And Manchin was spotted walking into the White House around 5.30 p.m., wearing a blue blazer, gray slacks, and rubber-soled boat shoes, just in case you were wondering what Manchin was styling. So you guys, let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Do you think Kirsten Cinema and Joe Manchin are going to be getting on board? President Joe Biden is going to be able to convince them? Do you think these conversations are going to drag out? What do you think about Joe Manchin's wardrobe? <laughs> well, you guys, let me know your thoughts, but also we're hearing that the House of Representatives is making progress. The Ways and Means Committee is assembling that legislative text, and we've had progress on some portions and others not so much. Take a look at this article, you guys. Link in the description below. Democrats prepare for the next phase of the budget fight as House readies package and Biden meets with Senate skeptics. Now, with the sound of one final gavel, House Democrats on Wednesday completed the mammoth task of translating President Biden's economic vision into a $3.5 trillion tax and spending proposal, marking a major milestone in a fight that's still far from finished. Now, listen to this, you guys. Assembling the House package proved to be an enormous undertaking as Democrats raced over the past weeks to produce roughly 2,600 pages of legislative text spanning the party's vast policy ambitions. And the measure seeks to shepherd major changes to federal health care, education, immigration, climate, and tax laws, introducing a sprawling set of federal programs that Democratic leaders have described as historic in their size and scope. So you guys... This has been a massive undertaking, a huge, huge bill. This will be by far the largest stimulus package that we have ever seen. It says, but the fruits, listen to this, but the fruits of the lawmakers' labors quickly seemed overshadowed by political reality. A proposal that would try to lower the cost of prescription drugs for millions of seniors appeared in fresh jeopardy after a group of small Democrats dealt it an early blow in the House. So you guys, as I mentioned, Portions of this will not make it in. Other portions that were not even mentioned will likely get added in. This is going to change. And we're seeing that this part here for making more affordable prescription drugs for seniors, it doesn't look like it's making it through, you guys. The fuller $3.5 trillion plan, meanwhile, faced even more significant hurdles in the Senate, prompting Biden to embark on a renewed effort on Wednesday to try to reassure wavering members of his own party. So you guys... This is part of the procedure. I wouldn't get too stressed out, but yes, things are going to change. Provisions will get moved in, will get modified, and will get moved out. Now, take a look at this article. It just came out. It's going to let us know about some that have actually progressed. This one's from The Hill. Link in the description below. House panel advances key portion of Democrats' $3.5 trillion bill. The House Ways and Means Committee on Wednesday approved a major portion of the Democrats' $3.5 trillion social spending package, including provisions that would raise taxes on high-income individuals and corporations in order to offset the cost of new spending. And yes, you guys, tax the rich. It looks like it's going to be happening to pay for this stimulus package. Now, the committee advanced the legislation in a near party line vote, 2419, and Representative Stephanie Murphy, she joined Republicans in voting against the measure. It now heads to the House Budget Committee, which will combine the various pieces of the spending package approved by the House panel. Now, the legislation approved by the Ways and Means Committee on Wednesday included a wide range of Democratic priorities. It would expand infrastructure financing tools, expand the low-income housing tax credit, 
and extend the, and expand the renewed energy tax credit. It would also extend through 2025 the child tax credit expansion that Democrats enacted earlier this year while permanently making it a credit fully refundable so the lowest income families can receive full credit amounts. So those are some of the portions that are progressing in this bill. Additionally, the legislation has several health-related provisions, including to make permanent an expansion of Obamacare subsidies and to allow the Health and Human Service Secretary to negotiate prescription drug prices. Now, the Ways and Means Committee measure also included provisions to pay for new spending and tax breaks elsewhere in the package. Now, listen to this. Here it is. Tax the rich. It says that it would raise the corporate tax rate for incomes above $5 million to 20, from 21% to 26.5%, raise the top individual individual income tax rate from 37% to 39.6% and raise the top capital gains rate from 20% to 25% and impose a 3% surtax on individual incomes above 5 million. It also would provide the IRS with an additional $80 billion to strengthen tax enforcement and modernize its technology. Now, Democrats see the social spending package as an opportunity to advance President Biden's economic agenda and make long sought investments in order to strengthen the social safety net and combat climate change, you guys. So those are some of the things that made it in. They're definitely going to be taxing the rich as we saw that dress from AOC and we've been hearing a lot about it, you guys. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. So you guys, that is the latest regarding stimulus, the negotiations, the talk, the bill, what's making it in and what's not. And I'll be sure to keep you up to date as it seems like there are things changing literally every day, sometimes by the hour. And I will keep you up to date here on the channel, you guys. And as always, thank you so much for joining me. I really appreciate it. And if you made it this far and you haven't already, don't forget to take a second to smash that like button. It really helps out the channel a ton. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Also, leave your comments down below. Share this out if this is your first time here. Hit the subscribe button, turn on the notification bell. We want you here. Come join the Ram Fam. I'll keep you up to date on all this stuff so you know what's going on. And if you got any specific questions for me, be sure to shoot them to me in the DM on Instagram at SteveRam3. And remember, I do regular uploads. I try to get them up at 3 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, Monday through Friday, guaranteed videos around that time. And I also do random uploads throughout the day and on weekends as news breaks, you guys. But I hope this reaches you well. I'll catch you in the next video. Take care. God bless. This is Steve.